Hi everyone, I'm Apollonia Ponti, your dating and relationship coach, founder of ApolloniaPonti.com, and I'm so happy you're here. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I welcome you and I say hello. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to let go of her. Um, this was a requested video in so many, so many ways, and I know it can help you because if you are finding yourself at this video right now, it's because you are going through a little bit of turmoil and there's some thoughts about a woman that you're just like, I know she's not good for me. I just have to let go of this relationship. And then either I keep on going back or I just can't get her out of my head. So what I'm going to do for you is I have three stages of the process of letting go. But in these three stages, I'm actually going to give you tips that you can use after this video. So make sure you stay till the very end. The tips that I'm giving you are transformational tips and stages as well that can help you manage your thoughts, your mindset, and really check in towards if this is a good and healthy relationship for you. But ultimately, when this happens, I want you to be able to not reattract something like this where it takes over your life, let's just say, if this is you. If this is you and it takes over your thoughts and everything that you're doing and you're maybe have anxiety around this, I want you to really self-diagnose yourself after you watch this video. And for you that, and then, and for those of you that are watching right now that are just simply just like, I need to get her out of my head, this is going to help you as well. So let's get into it. Stage one. I call stage one the wake up call, right? Stage one is be real. It's kind of like you got to wake up, right? So what I mean by this is we got to really dissect the reasons of why you are attracted to this woman. So was she just giving you company? Was she a beautiful woman? Was the sex great? Or um, was what superficial things are you attaching to right now? And I see you say superficial things because of this. So I would self-diagnose this person and ask yourself, what is it that is driving you crazy about this woman? It could be, I've never felt like this before with a woman that I've ever encountered. And we're going to go into that. So some tips in regards to this is tip one is stop denying the feelings that you probably have for this person. Because what happens is when you deny a feeling that you have for someone, typically what happens is you start to not understand the difference between infatuation and you really having something healthy, a healthy balance of thoughts for this person. Because when you deny it, you're really not showing up for yourself. And obviously that's what I want you to do. So don't deny it if you are there and saying, oh, I'm not going to cry about this, or I'm not going to um, show any emotion around this because I'm a man and I'm strong. No, I mean, whatever you do in your own home by yourself is fine, but some way you have to let the emotions out. Don't hold them in because it's just going to hold a lot of, a lot of anger in there. And I want you to show up in the best way possible for the future woman, uh, that is in your plan. And the next tip with this is understand that you deserve better. So even if you did mess up, so what were the ways that um, you intentionally have learned from this if you didn't mess up, right? And if you didn't mess up, that's okay too. You deserve better in one, what way? So if all of a sudden she just ghosted you or she disrespected you at one point or she's placing fingers at you and you tried everything that you can to make her happy, you deserve better ultimately. Love is not about, oh, I'm going to give, 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 give in hopes that this person is going to finally see who I am, see my true colors. It doesn't work like that. It's like I always say, it's like a tennis match. You go back and forth, you give and you and you get, you get, you give. It's like you have to reciprocate. And I say this so much, especially in the dating phase, like I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I want to just reiterate on this is like when you're dating, people like tend to go in 100% or 50%. I always say like in a relationship, it should be 50-50 when there's commitment. But when you're dating, it should be around 20 to 30% of giving and the person should be doing the same thing as well. That's how you get into boundaries. I actually talked about that in one of my videos is the number one thing that gets a woman addicted to you. Watch that. I'll put it up here in the cards as well. And the last tip is something kind of funny and I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud, but it helps to is think of her worst quality. So when you're trying to get over someone, it's really easy just to think about every feeling that you receive from them and how much you like them and how much they've, you know, everything was so passionate or whatever the case may be. But think about 
the worst characteristic that this person brought to your life. Maybe it was drama, maybe it was disrespect, maybe it was a lack of integrity. Well, what is that? And think about that. Because what happens is when we go through heartbreak, we think about all the great stuff. We are our own worst critics, let me be honest here. Now, stage number two is out of sight, out of mind. So if you have to delete them off social media or just ghost them off social media or not even go on social media right now, that is your time to not do this. So don't do the social media thing and stalking their account, seeing who they're hanging out with, going to their friends' uh, pages as well to see if she's on there, who she's hanging out with. Don't even spend your time doing that right now because this is not gonna help you get over that person. Whatever they do on their free time is whatever they do on your free time. You're your, their free time. You're your own individual and that's all that you have to be accountable for now in this moment. Now, also, if you tend to possibly um, go to the same places like a gym or something like try to engage in another gym in the meantime until you have been able to resurface with your emotions and say I'm over this woman I'm okay and then you can start slowly encountering each other once again if it's something like school and work I totally understand you can't dismiss it but here's my advice on this if it's school or work and you see this person often is to not really pay any attention to them, like not even give them a peace of mind. Don't even look in their vicinity, don't even look in their distance because you have to focus on you. So use some of the tips that I told you in tip one, if this is something, a woman that you see every once in a while at work or at school and things like that. But if you cross each other's paths every once in a while, try to do different things so you don't until your heart is healed. And last tip in this stage is uh, if there is a certain activity, I'm going to give you an example because it's the only way I can explain it and it'll, it'll ring a bell, I'm sure. If there's a certain activity, let's just say every night you guys at 9 p.m. watched um, Grey's Anatomy or um, what's another like hit show? You can tell I don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> um, oh my God, Dancing with the Stars. Okay, so gosh, it's so bad, but I don't, do not watch TV. Anyways, um, Let's just say you guys watch a program every night at 9 p.m. And this is going to remind you of her when you watch the program. Just click record and don't even come to the program that is going to remind you of her, what you guys used to do and those type of things. So also, if there is like something that the both of you used to do, a routine, like get away from that routine a little bit and try another routine. If like every morning you guys met at Starbucks at 9 a.m., don't go to Starbucks at 9 a.m. anymore. Let's get an espresso machine and make it at home for the time being. You've got to acknowledge the fact that you can't stick to the same routines because it's just going to bring up the relationship again and you have to give yourself time to heal or bring up the woman again, even if it wasn't a relationship and something you, someone you were dating. The reason why I say this is because in time, you can go back to these activities, of course, because everybody once in their lifetime has their heart broken in some way or another, love, friendship, whatever, family. And as time goes on, you heal your heart. So that's what's important to say is because just because you can't do the activities now doesn't mean that you'll be able to later. Now, stage three, make sure you emphasize on me time and doing stuff for you. So what are the things that you stopped doing altogether? I was talking to a client today and he said, you know, Apollonia, I've been watching your videos and I just stuck, st I just started uh, by myself uh, learning how to golf. I went the other day to learn how to horseback ride. I went the other day to go shooting. I went the other day to do so many things and I've been so so happy. I've never been this happy. And it was so amazing to hear that because I talk a lot about this on how to find your purpose because I have people asking me like, how do I find my purpose? Right? So I talk about that a lot and why that's so important. I'll put it up here on the cards. But um, what's important too, is that you spend your time alone because that's the only person that you really have a hundred percent of the time, all the time. Right? And if you're not okay with being alone, then you're not going to be okay in a relationship eventually either. So spending your me time, doing the things you love, cooking at home, maybe drinking some wine as you cook, putting on some music and just getting the vibe and just understand and don't put any pressure on what is to come in the future and be okay with your present moment. And tip number two is kind of the same. It's doing what you love, but also to spend time with the people that you love. So if you are in a funk right now and it's hard for you to get out of this funk, 
Spend time with people that you love, not people that are gonna increase your bad habits, but people that you actually love that bring you up, either your anybody, your best friend, your mother, go take a trip somewhere and go visit a friend that you haven't seen and you talk on the phone with all the time. This is going to help when it comes to letting go. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are having any troubles or need any help or guidance in regards to this, please reach out to me as I'm always here to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and I am more than happy to help. I'll see you again in the next video and remember you are always loved. Bye for now.